A Chinese investment group wants to buy up U.S. real estate, and it's going after Starwood. Anbang made an unsolicited offer for the hotel chain operator, threatening a pending deal with Marriott. That sent shares of both Starwood and Marriott higher. But as Susan Lee reports, this bid is part of a bigger wave of Chinese companies acquiring U.S. assets. Not one, but two multi-billion dollar hotel deals led by the same Chinese company. Fresh off its 2014 purchase of the historic Waldorf Astoria Hotel, Anbang Group now has its eye on the operator of W Hotels, Westons and Sheridans, the Starwood Hotel and Resorts Group. Now, back in November, Marriott had agreed to buy Starwood for close to $11 billion to build the world's largest hotel operator. But now Anbang is leading a counter bid along with Primavera and JC Flowers offering more money for Starwood. And that's on top of a separate deal being negotiated with Anbang buying up strategic hotels and resorts for close to six and a half billion dollars. Strategic owns 16 properties across the country, including the famous Essex Hotel right here in New York. The current trend of Chinese money buying into U.S. real estate, according to some, is an encouraging sign. Given the volatility that we've seen in the global markets and in China in the last couple of months. Some commercial real estate investors had uh, a loss of confidence of sorts of Chinese investment coming here to the States. But this is a real vote of confidence, not only in U.S. real estate, but also the strength of Chinese investors coming here as well. 2016 is expected to be a record year for Chinese mergers and acquisitions outside of China. Just three months into this year, and we're already sitting at $105 billion in deals and counting, according to Deal Logic. And that's basically the same amount that we saw in the entirety of 2015, which was the highest recorded in history for Chinese M&A. And it's not just going into real estate and properties. This year we saw GE selling off its appliance division to China's Hayar Group in a $5.4 billion deal. Another high-profile China acquisition so far in 2016, China's richest man and his company Dalian Wanda paying up $3.5 billion for Hollywood producer Legendary Entertainment. Now you may remember Dalian Wanda as a company that bought up theater chain AMC just a few years ago and then listed it back in New York. And who can forget the pork deal in 2012, which at the time was the largest Chinese purchase in the U.S. Shuanghui buying up Smithfields for $4.7 billion. And given the current conditions, it might be safe to say that we can expect more Chinese money chasing U.S. assets in the future. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Susan Lee.